Hi, we are the Reyes family. This is my sister Gadolin, this is my dog Bruce, and this is my mom. My dad is behind the camera. Welcome to the family liturgy of the word. Let's begin our celebration in song. and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty and merciful God, we praise you for all you do for us and look forward to receiving the things you have promised in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, you, your children, and all of your descendants must respect the Lord. And as long as you live, you must obey all of his laws and commands that I am teaching you. If you do this, you will live a long time. People of Israel, listen carefully and obey all these laws. Your nation will grow strong and you will prosper in this land that is rich in milk and honey. This is what the Lord God of your ancestors has promised you. Listen, people of Israel. Only the Lord is our God. You must love the Lord with all of your heart, soul, and strength. Don't forget anything that I am telling you today. The word of the Lord. I, I love, love you, Lord, my strength. strength. I love you, Lord God. You make me strong. You are my mighty rock, my fortress, my protector. I, I love you, Lord, Lord, my strength. You are the living Lord. I praise you. You are a mighty rock. I honor you for keeping me safe. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is the high priest we need. He is holy and innocent and faultless, and not like all of us sinners. Jesus is honored above all beings in heaven. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the teachers of the law of Moses came up while Jesus and the Sadducees were arguing. When he heard Jesus give a good answer, he asked him, what is the most important commandment? Jesus answered, the most important one says, people of Israel, you have only one Lord and God. You must love him with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second most important commandment says, love others as much as you love yourself. No other commandment is more important than these. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy Halloween. I'm sure you know that today is Halloween, or another name for it is All Hallows' Eve. Tomorrow, November 1st, is All Saints' Day in the church. So Halloween today is really the eve of a great holy day for our Catholic faith, when we celebrate the saints, holy people who have come before us. Now, there's a really involved process for becoming an official canonized saint in the Catholic Church. It involves um, a lot of investigation and looking at the lives and ways that they impacted people and miracles that they have performed and miracles that have happened after their death when people have prayed to them. There's a lot of requirements. Um, maybe you've heard of some saints like St. Patrick, St. Joseph, St. Mary. Here at Little Flower, we get our name from St. Therese, whose nickname was the Little Flower. So sometimes you'll hear prayers at Mass praying for uh, the intercession of St. Therese, the Little Flower. So that's why our church is called Little Flower. The saints are great people to have in our lives. People to pray to who can help us when we need something. Um, for example, 
Have you ever lost something in your house? I'm not saying I lose my keys a lot, but I, I lose my keys a lot. I misplace them. And oftentimes when I've looked and looked and I just can't find them, I like to pray to St. Anthony because St. Anthony is someone who can help us find things that are lost. So I just pray a, a simple prayer, Tony, Tony, please come down. Something's lost and can't be found. And sure enough, I'll find my keys. So the saints are, are just a wonderful way to connect to the, the people who have are part of our, our faith history. And they're also ways that, um, there are also people that we can turn to when we need things as well. So in today's gospel, we hear Jesus remind us what the most important commandment is. To love God with all of our heart and to love one another as God loves us. This kind of just sums up what it means to be a Christian. This is what our lives are all about. Sometimes people spend years reflecting on the question, what's the meaning of life? What is the purpose? Why am I here? And we as Christians, there are two answers. They're not easy to live out, but they're two simple answers. To love God, to bring others closer to God, and to love each other. So, like I said, it's not an easy thing to do, but we can look to the saints as models of faith and to help us. Have you ever seen the movie Coco? My family loves that movie, and not just because the music is super catchy. The music is really good. But the, the whole premise of the movie, um, it's a great representation of what All Saints Day is all about. Remembering and honoring the saints, the holy people who have come before us. So in Coco, the little boy Miguel, he connects with his ancestors by visiting the land of the dead. And through the stories he hears and the history of the family that he learns, he creates a deeper bond with his living family, especially his grandmother. It's a beautiful thing. It's a wonderful movie. And the music's really good, too. The lives of the saints, too, can teach us how to live out this great commandment that Jesus reminds us about. How to love God and to love one another. One saint that I think is especially inspiring is someone uh, who lived in Italy and he only died in 2006. His name is Carlo. Now Carlo is, he's beatified right now, which means he's called Blessed Carlo. He's one step away from becoming a saint. So hopefully soon, as more miracles um, occur after people pray, for, pray to him, um, he's only one more step away from being a saint. So soon, hopefully, we can call him Saint Carlo. But right now, he's, he's Blessed Carlo. But Carlo died in 2006 of leukemia at age 15. He was just an average teenager living in, uh, in Italy. He liked video games. He had, a, he had a cell phone. He was on the internet a lot. He, he actually did some computer programming. And his ability to connect with people from all over the world through the internet was how he was able to spread God's love. So through the tools that he used, and in this case, for this particular saint, uh, or almost saint, it was through the internet that he was able to remind people of how God loves them, how God takes care of them, and the saints are there for them, and how to pray, and things like that. I think he's a great example and a great model for us because that wasn't that long ago, right? 2006. Maybe some of you weren't born then, but it, it really wasn't that long ago, and, um, and he's just a, a great example of how teenagers, young people, kids, can live out this, this commandment that Jesus talks to us about today, too. And as I said before, doing nice things, saying the right words, drawing other people closer to God, helping to, to let people know that God loves them and that we love them, too. Just like Carlo did through the internet, we can do that in our everyday lives. That's what, the, that's what being a Christian is all about. That's what our life demands of us and, and asks of us. And like I said, it's not easy. It can be tough. And during those tough moments, we can rely on the saints. We can pray to a particular saint that we might have a special connection with. Like St. Carlo, Blessed Carlo. Help me to only say nice things when I'm texting people or I'm on the internet or I, I'm tempted to make a mean comment online. We can have saints help us in those difficult times. So 
with this whole history of saints that we have in our Catholic faith, just like Miguel in Coco, who learned the stories of his ancestors and developed deeper connections with his living family and his ancestors through that, we can tap into this wealth of experience and knowledge and faith um, models. That is the history of our, our saints in our Catholic Church. So for the reflection questions today, when you get to the next screen, you can press pause and discuss as a, a family or just reflect on your own. I have a couple of questions that um, I think might help connect the idea of All Saints Day to our everyday life. What are some saints that you know? Do you know any, any saints? And does your family have a special connection to a particular saint? Ironically, my grandmother, I grew up in Connecticut, my grandmother had a very deep connection to St. Therese the Little Flower. So I grew up, she lived with us and she, she had little statues of St. Therese around her apartment in our house. So maybe there's someone like that in your family too. And think of an everyday situation when praying to a saint can be helpful. I spoke about a couple of instances, losing my keys and praying to St. Anthony. And maybe when you're online and tempted to to say something not nice, Blessed Carlo or another saint can help you and remind you to take a breath and remind you that you're supposed to be drawing other people closer to God. So think of an everyday situation. What prayer can you say the next time that you're in that situation? So kind of think of a way to prepare yourselves. The next time you're in a situation, what is it that you can say so you already have the words in your mind? Take a few moments to discuss. Knowing that God hears our needs, we present our prayers and petitions. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may be instruments of God's mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our world as it continues to battle against the coronavirus, may God watch over and empower healthcare workers, first responders, scientists, and researchers to bring an end to this illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of all those celebrating Halloween this weekend, may God keep everyone safe, healthy, and allow for a fun celebration. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the intentions that your family has. For our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving God, you hear the prayers we speak aloud and know the prayers in the silence of our hearts. We ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you all. A special thank you to the Reyes family for their help with the readings and prayers today. We always appreciate Ms. Liz and Mrs. Teresa for their music as well. We will continue to live stream Mass on Saturdays at 5.30 p.m., but we also hope to see you in person at Mass at the 5.30 or on Sunday mornings at 8.30 and 11.30. If your family could use any assistance financially or spiritual resources or anything at all, please don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for joining us today. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Let us pray. May we be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may God bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.